unboxing, shall we? Now, as you can see by the label here, Buffalo Tech. That's the good stuff. Now, according to the label on this side over here, we got us a Buffalo Tech Terra Station 5410DN series drive. It's got four bays. It's got two drives that come with it, and they total up to four terabytes. So let's open this guy up. See what it takes. All right. So I'll put the tape on this side. tape on this side. including power cable cat5 ethernet cable a cable tie down oh yeah and yeah, check that out you don't see those too often do you We got a packet of instructions, and look at that, actual keys, yeah, those are nice, you don't see keys too often, yeah, yeah. okay, Let's see what else we got going here, now, look in the top here, and I like what I see, we got good packaging, cellulose packaging, kind of modular, and it can be, it can be very good, you got a lot of room in the sides here, but uh, it's strong enough, it'll withstand some of the most catastrophic of transactions. <laughs> Alright, let's take him out, there's the first half. As you can see, it's the good cellular stuff. Got gaps, so it doesn't take up a bunch of space in here. And yet, it's strong enough. So it'll take a beating while it's in transit here. <laughs> I got another one of those in the bottom here that the, uh, the drive itself is sitting in. Let's see if we can slip that out. But I'm having too much trouble. Uh, we got him out. Yeah, there's that uh, other cellulose thing in the bottom. Let's see what we got here. Looks good, looks good. Possibly the bottom. Ah, and I'm right, it is the bottom. Got the top side loose. Looks like it's kind of a plastic bag. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, I 
Let's get this thing hooked up, shall we? Okay. At this point, I'm going to assume that you've already gone through the include instruction list and got your custom set up with your location and passwords all set up. And now I'm just going to show you how to get into it. If uh, if you're going through Windows or, or through Mac OS, you hit that uh, Mass Navigator icon down there. Pop it open, and then you can right-click on your new Terra station and hit Settings. It'll make you log in. And if you're on Linux, like I am, it's a slightly different deal because there is no NAS Navigator for Linux yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a version of NAS Navigator that I've written myself, NAS Navigator 3. I don't know what the current version of, of the real NAS Navigator is. I really didn't notice. But this is NAS Navigator 3 for Linux. So the first thing you're going to do is look at over at the uh, little screen on the front of your Terra station. And you're going to see an IP address, eventually, for the LAN port that you're on. And in this case, it's 125. So, we now come down here to the NAS Navigator icon. Oh, look, it's the same as the one in Windows or Mac OS. In, in this case, it's going to open up a little terminal window. Ask for a password. It's going to look up all the drives in the local network. And there it is. See, we have a link station on uh, Octet 127. And here's our Terra station on Octet 125. So, select 0. And it's going to launch that in the browser. No matter which operating system you're using, you can take the address that uh, that shows up on the front of your Terra station and put it into the search bar or uh, address bar of your browser. And it'll do the same thing we're doing here. But here we go. Now it's going to bring up our login as soon as it's finished loading. That is, and there it is. In this particular case, we're just going to log in with our admin password that we set up when we first ran the Terra Station's uh, setup utility. And boom. And this is our dashboard. At this point, you'll see what's going on. I've already made a, a bunch of backups, so we're using 594.4 gigabytes of the 1830.3 gigabytes that we had available on RAID 1. Nice, isn't it? We've also got a little flash drive connected up to the USB port on the back. As uh, USB drive one, and we're doing our configuration back up to that. Now, if you want to do that to yours, the instructions are in the manual. But uh, here's a quickie: you go into management, and you go into configuration management, and boom, there it is. If it's your first time, it hit create a USB drive for initialization settings. Select the drive and click Execute. If it is not your first time, just leave it on Save Current Configuration, select the drive, hit Execute. It's that simple. But back on the dashboard, we can see the rest of the information, how much CPU information is being used, a good percentage, at what particular time. Uh, at the moment, being idle, we're only using 5% of the memory and as you can see we've updated to firmware 4.60-0.30 uh, 
which is current as of today, May 23rd, 2020. And we're on the work group, work group, which means this drive will be shareable on SMB with the Windows machine and all our Raspberry Pi computers that are located around the house. And as you can see, it's located in my office. <laughs> But this is all your basic information that you're going to need for your Terra Station. So you can go into storage and you can manage all your drives. Okay, like here's your drives here. So you got drive 1 and drive 2 are being used. Drive 3 and drive 4 are disconnected because we don't actually have a drive plugged in but those are part of Array 1. The USB drives, same deal, we only have that one plugged in for the configuration. It's a little 4 gig and there it is. But uh, <laughs> this is pretty nice. Everything we need is here. It's all good. Um, all right, I'm going to cut you loose for now. Uh, if you need a copy of that uh, NAS Navigator for Linux that I created, uh, send me an email and I'll reply back with a copy of the source code that you can just compile right there on your computer. If you have any other questions about uh, hardware or software that's built into this thing, uh, do not hesitate to contact somebody at uh, Buffalo Tech. They'll be more than happy to walk you through it. They're very nice people over there. All right, this is Reverend Fuzzy, and I'm out of here. Log out. <laughs>